Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a lavender soap and I'm going to use organic, raw organic goat milk for the liquid portion today. Um, I have a 4042 lavender essential oil that I'll be using. Um, I have some organic lavender buds that I'm gonna sprinkle on the top. I'm planning on doing a lattice work top on this if, uh, if it behaves. The last lavender soap I did uh, one of my earlier YouTube videos, it seized up on me like soap on a stick. It was ridiculous. So I'm hoping things go well today. And if things move along slowly, I would like to do uh, from Brambleberry, I have this purple Brazilian clay that's really beautiful. It just comes out a very sort of um, blush color. So I'd like to do that. Uh, that's the plan. So I've got my goat milk cooling off, my goat milk lye solution cooling. I do have tuss of silk fibers in there and some sodium lactate. I have my oils melted and cooled, and we will come back and make some lavender soap. So I have all my oils here melted and pretty cooled off, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my additives, which is some kale and clay and some organic colloidal oats. Um, I do have my purple Brazilian clay here dispersed in some distilled water, just um, soaking that up, and that'll go in my color portion, I'm hoping. I'll get that far. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick blend in my additives in here, and uh, we'll come back when it's time to add our goat milk solution to the oils. <laughs> and we're ready to move on here. I've got my goat milk, and it does have the silk and sodium lactate in there. And uh, I feel, I didn't bring you along when I did this. Um, you can see lots of other YouTubers doing goat's milk. It's, um, I freeze it in little discs, ice cubes, so it's frozen when I pour the lye over and you pour it real slow and I had it in an ice bath and everything. And it's still got a little yellow, but that's okay. It'll turn a creamy, sort of a creamy color um, once the soap saponifies and all that good stuff. But this is nice and cool. And my oil's here. So I'm going to be hand stirring in hopes that I can prevent my soap on a stick experience. And I'm going to add my... Um, lavender essential oil right at the last minute <laughs> so that um, I'm trying to hedge my bets here and get everything moving slowly. That is the plan. So I'm just going to get this emulsified and split off and as far as swirling and everything goes I'm just going to see how this behaves before I decide I have my hanger out. If I can do a hanger swirl um, if it's looking a little too thick, I may go ahead and do an in-the-pot swirl um, with my clay. And then the tops, I would like to do a lattice top if it's cooperating. If it gets pretty thick, then I may have to just do peaks, and those are beautiful, so that's okay too. But we'll just see what we can get. This will be just a wonderful all-natural bar. I'm, you know, with the Brazilian clay and the kaolin clay, there's not any micas or additives or anything, so this is just going to be wonderful and a pure essential oil. I think, yeah, well, maybe just a little more for the purple. All right, now I've got this. Uh, this is about maybe two teaspoons of clay in about one ounce of water, distilled water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here. All right, let me grab another spatula. Oh, I got purple to go with my purple. How cool is that? Get that in there. I'm not sure exactly how purple this purple Brazilian clay will be. It's, it's kind of a nice, Color, but hey, it said purple, this is lavender. I'm just going with the theme. But um, yeah, we'll see after saponification. I've used this before, and it turns sort of a pretty, very neutrally pink. So we will see how it comes out. I'm, I'm excited about this. All right, we're still pretty fluid. I'm very happy with that. We're just Moving along here slowly, and now is time to add the fragrance. <laughs> this is the part that I'm nervous about. So, let's get this out. 
and I have enough to do the batch. So this is, let's see, we're at two and a half. This is one and a quarter, so definitely the bulk is going to go in here. We'll put a little in here. All right. It's showtime. Let's see how we do. Just gonna hand stir. And hand stir you. So far so good. There, look at that. We'll do a double stir here. I'm just trying to keep an eye on it. I wanna get the scent really incorporated in there. Um, this is behaving really well. I'm. Wow, happy, happy. I was all planned for it to get thick on me and I didn't really plan on it behaving, so now I've got to really think about how I want to proceed. Oh, I'm so tempted to put the stick blender in here. What do y'all think, should I do it? Man, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just give it a quick stick blend. really hope I don't regret this. <laughs> oh, I really do. All right, we're going to go lightest to darkest. So we'll come on over here. Sorry about the cord. And just a quick one. Okay. And we'll hop on in here. Got our molds. Let's go ahead and just do a little droppy swirl in here. That is like liquid. Maybe the essential oil like decelerated the trace on it. I've heard of that happening. All right, I'm gonna let these sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back and do the lattice top. And I'm still waiting for this, it's still so liquidy. Um, so how I test it is, these are my options for doing lattice work. Um, I'm gonna use this for the little corners and I'm looking for just a flat straight edge. So I think I'm gonna go with the wooden spoon because this has the bend on it. So let me show you how I test to see if it's ready to go. I'm just gonna put that in and lift it up and it's holding in that corner. And that one's kind of falling. Let me do this corner here. Yeah, not quite yet ready because the peaks are falling and I definitely want it to hold. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and we will come. All right, I think it's time to proceed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing this and you just go straight up and down. Boy, those are just barely perceptible. Let me get my big, I'm gonna use this one because it had a thinner blade on it. And I think that leaves a little better definition. So it's just kind of slow and pokey doing this. Man, <laughs> this soap batter has just flummoxed me. I am 
so surprised that it went slow trace like that. Of course, I picked out one of my slowest tracing recipes, pretty high in the liquid oils, um, because I was worried about the speeding up of trace, but I had no idea that it was going to behave like this. So that's a good thing. All right, now I'm going to turn it around and come back the other way. So we did a farmer's market today and the forecast, okay, so let me back up. I skipped it a week ago because the forecast was like 70% thunderstorms. And you know, even though soaps are made to be in water <laughs> with the packaging and labeling, it's not cool. So I called the market manager and said, I'm not gonna make it this weekend because of the rain. Um, forecast and it didn't rain at all that morning they had a beautiful day decent turnout and I missed it so today the forecast was 30% rain and uh, mostly sunny and all that good stuff so we packed up our truck and we headed on over and it downpoured and wind like crazy and my canopy was dripping on my stuff. I lost a couple of things, a couple of labels. I'll have to relabel because, um, yeah, it was just, it was really sad. So I was feeling really down when we got home and sat down and did a little reading and just tried to, you know, be okay with it, but I wasn't okay with it. So I decided to come down here and make some soap because that always cheers me up so <laughs> that was my market adventure for today and it's a great market it's well worth the effort to go but wow Tennessee weather you just think you can predict it the weatherman he she he she tries their very best to give us a good forecast but you know what sometimes it just does stuff you did not expect like the rain or the not rain so I'm trying to decide if uh, I should just show up to things and uh, just let the weather do what it does or if I should hold back when the forecast is bad. I don't know. I'm gonna spray these with rubbing alcohol. I do know that. And I'm gonna let these uh, go through gel phase and we'll come back tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon maybe, for the cut. Very gentle lattice work, but that is our all natural lavender goat milk. All right, and so. now I'm gonna unmold this one here, and hopefully it'll come out a little easier and not be so gooey. Even though I use the sodium lactate in it, um, it was just a soft soap. Oh yeah, this feels a little better. There we go. All right. Oh, my fingers mashed it. Okay. So the purple Brazilian clay looks like a really pretty little blush color. Well, that got a little crunched. But anyway, let's get into this and get it cut and see how it came out on the inside. Okay. And I've got the lavender buds on the downside here. Um, so that they won't drag through the soap. And oh, that came out pretty. Look at that swirl. Happy, happy. There's a little lattice top. Oh, I'm happy. These came out great. Yay. Just 
keep cutting here. Alright, and I'm back after a couple of hours um, after I sliced these just to let the surface areas dry on them. And so I'm comfortable coming back in with my uh, fancy beveler tool, aka potato peeler. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges on these and do my stamping. And because I'm so happy with how the swirls came out, I'm going to uh, do a side stamp on these. The bars are tall enough to fit the stamp on there. So let's place it here. And I've spritzed this with rubbing alcohol so it'll release easy. Give it a little tap. There we go. Perfect. And uh, every time I work with lavender buds, some of them will pop off on the floor. <laughs> and I always, when I see them later, I'm like, oh no, we have a mouse, because it looks like mouse droppings. But no, they're just lavender buds. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. That would be so awesome. And I'm just going to keep cleaning up the rest of these bars and getting them stamped. And uh, we will see you next time. Have a great day.